Okay, we're well, on to the next instalment of Ask Archie's Old Man, and uh, we haven't had a lot of we haven't had a lot of payers. We've had two. Two more have come in, but there's not it's not a lot of not a lot of uh, demand there. Maybe we're priced out of the market. But quality advice costs money, and they're really getting a bargain because you charge four hundred bucks an hour. Four forty actually with GST. Four forty, four forty. So, so it, it, it's a chance to solve your life problems. Okay, so let let let's let's jump into the first one. This is from Phil Alexander. He's got two questions, and he's given me thirty dollars, a little bit extra because he's asking two questions. Question one. I'm a mortgage agent in Canada. One of the things we have to do is find people who need, really need a mortgage. Since you're an accountant, you see a lot of people drowning in debt and need a second mortgage. What methods would you use to find clients like that? This is from his perspective. He, he wants to grow his mortgage broking business. What should he do to get more customers? Well, he has to do a, a range of things. First of all, he has to develop good relationships with people who see people that need mortgages. And in, what comes to mind, first of all, the best source is probably real estate agents because the person goes to the real estate agent, signs a contract to sign the property, and then wants finance. So the agent would say, look, yes, you need finance. I've got a, a association where a very, very good mortgage broker and um, he's the person to see. He can do all these uh, great deals with you through various uh, sources of finance. So that's probably step one. Two, accountants. Now, I'm an accountant and the, sometimes people come and see the accountant first. They say, look, I want to buy something. Uh, what do you think? So the accountant says, yes, this is the way to structure it. Yes, this is what you do. Now, next question is, finance. And the accountant would say, look, I've got a contact with a very, very nice person. He's very reliable and astute. And maybe if you haven't got any other sources uh, or way, uh, uh, place where you're going to apply for finance, go and see this gentleman. And um, so, but the accountants, um, sometimes um, the accountant is too late in, in the cycle uh, to see. But, but, yeah, but having an association with accountants would help because um, some people will also be referred to you. I think it's important probably to join a group like um, Rotary, Rotary, JCs in here, um, some business association people where you have breakfast once a month. And in those places, like in my accounting practice, we met a solicitor who we, then we developed a large uh, association we referred people to him. So you meet solicitors who also get involved with clients who need finance. Um, and other types of uh, uh, insurance agents and that. So you, you, you need to, it's very important to develop a good relationship with a number of people and actually you, you actually got to go and meet these people and uh, um, get on well with them and, and have a rapport with them. Um, it, it's hard to get in but I mean you must have had heaps of fucking mortgage brokers who are trying to say I'm, I'm your mortgage broker of choice please refer customers. Yeah. Ha, 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 well, what do you do then? How, how is he? Because he's trying to grow his mortgage business. Well, he has to... Yeah, um, the trouble is with these mortgage brokers or other um, you know, uh, professional people who want something from you is that they often, all they want to do is m um, milk the client or whatever, get the most benefit for themselves without having uh, a feeling and a rapport for the client. So you have to... Uh, show the, these people that you're talking to, whatever, that you're interested in the welfare of the client. You want to help the client. You will do everything. You will sacrifice commissions or not get commission, but help the client. And if you're genuine and that comes across, you will get the people and you'll get referrals. And once you develop um, association, for instance, if, you, if, if one real estate agent likes you, now, uh, you know, and you develop this rapport, he'll refer 100 people to you a year. Um, so it's not. It's, it's yes. not easy, but it's not it's easy. Not easy. No, it's, it's cold not. calling, isn't it? This is fucking sales. It's this sales. is why these mortgage brokers can earn big money because it's not easy to get customers, is it? It's not yeah. easy. No, it's no. not easy. If it was fucking easy, every f asshole would be doing it, wouldn't they? Well, it would. It, um, and um, you can advertise and put ads in the paper and that, but but that's uh, the, yeah, that that's uh, yes, you might get some hits, but it's the personal approach. 
uh, and you coming across personally as a genuine person who wants to help will get you the business in the long term. Uh, not the person who just wants to make a quick buck and then shoot through. So it, it's it's a hard thing because I think what he's trying to say is you know he's trying to say what he's really saying is is that he wants to grow his mortgage business. Yeah. He wants people to come to him. It's hard. It's yeah. a sales type thing. There's no easy fucking thing, is there? There's no guilt edge thing. So what you're saying is is build the relationship with the accountant. And what you're saying is is that don't be so self interested trying to look after the client's interests. Yeah. Because you're very wary of recommend when you're in business, you are wary of recommending these fuckers who just want to gouge. Because, they want to sell, get yeah. the biggest commission and fuck off, don't they? Because if you, if an accountant or real estate agent or whatever recommends a person to a mortgage broker and that mortgage broker takes advantage of that person, well, that's detrimental to the accountant or the solicitor or the real estate agent. So once he gets caught once or twice, he won't recommend any more. So you've got to show that you care for the client and, and, and maybe uh, offer some minor reward, you give the, the accountant or the uh, um, real estate agent a bottle of scotch now and then, or a bottle of something, or a cheap wine. It, it does, is, is it not, nothing's illegal about remunerations, no, is no, there? No, you, 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 can, you can do that. I think well, in, in Australia you can do that. And um, um, so th there's not a problem there. there there's a, um, I don't know what you're doing, but often the, some of these guys often a, le a mobile lending service, why, whereby the, well, the banks here in Australia, uh, the banks actually come out to see you, uh, or often just take the application on the telephone. Uh, one of the girls in the office applied for a housing loan. She saw nobody. She just um, answered questions over the telephone, s sent some um, documents to the bank, and it was all done. Nobody saw anybody. So. Um, I don't know exactly how it's done in your area, but um, you, you, you have to, um, you know, do more than what's expected. And uh, if the competition is mobile and uh, quick, well, you've got to be mobile and quick. Mm. Okay, I think that that answers your question there. So, so basically, concentrate. Remember, these accountants and lawyers and real estate agents, you've got to make sure that you're providing real service to the client. You don't want to. You don't want to come across as only interested in your commission. That's right. You got it because no one will recommend. They're scared to recommend you, you and then you abuse yeah. the trust, isn't it? And all he's going to do know? is get caught once or twice and never recommend again. But if he knows that you're genuine and will mm -hmm. bend over backwards, he'll recommend, recommend, recommend yeah. forever. Okay, I think I think that's worth fifteen bucks for that advice. Okay, okay, let's uh, let's look at our next video. We're going to stop this one here. And uh, we're going to make another video on question two.